compliments of the season Nigeria and welcome to the program. It's auspicious time to count the gains, collate the best practices and successes of the year 2019, as well as lessons learned, audacious efforts, the world might have been. But first, we must relieve the memories and articulate the issues, stories and events, especially the Zero Fuel Q agenda, which continues to be consolidated, etc. Welcome to the program. My name is Akinya Bujili. This is All and Gas Forum. One of the focus of the Petroleum Ministry today is to ensure that there is zero loss in the industry. Our production should get to destination. Winning the competition, there was the obvious monetary benefits and um, the scholarship, you know, per year throughout my university education. But much more than that, financial benefits was the, you know, benefit that came with the aura of winning the competition. The competitive spirit, working with different people and just, you know, pushing myself to the edge, knowing that I could be better, I could, you know, answer those questions correctly. Having to work as a team with other teammates within, you know, a very limited amount of time to give specific answers that were correct to the judges. NNPC. We taught your lives in many positive ways. The group managing director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Mili Kiari, and the entire staff wish Nigerians and the various stakeholders in the oil and gas industry a Merry Christmas. As petroleum products supplier of last resort, the NNPC wishes to assure you of adequate petroleum product supply to meet all your energy demands in the Yuletide and beyond. The NNPC holds a robust stock of premium motor spirit, PMS, dual purpose kerosene, DPK, automotive gas oil, AGO, and aviation turbine kerosene, ATK, in her various strategic depots. The Nigeria State Oil Company advises all players in the oil and gas industry value chain and motorists alike to play according to the rules of the game and not to indulge in any sharp practice that will disrupt the seamless flow of petroleum products to various end users. NNPC wishes you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. NNPC, we taught your lives in many positive ways. The year 2019 has been an eventful year for the Nigeria oil and gas industry and for the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC that is saddled with the onerous mandate of efficiently managing the nation's abundant hydrocarbon resources. There have not been a single downtime in the 365 days of the year. The various strata of the petroleum sector witnessed a deluge of activities that have progressed and positioned Nigeria's oil and gas industry as a leading producer and consumer of abundant hydrocarbon resources. From the upstream to the midstream and to the downstream, it was a upbeat year, enabling the national oil company deployed all available resources, both human and material, to meet the national aspiration as it relates to exploration and seamless distribution of petroleum products across the nook and cranny of the country. In the upstream, a major milestone was recorded with the landmark presidential spotting of Kolmani River 2 well, which took place on 2nd February 2019. Nine months on, 10th October 2019, the NNPC announced the discovery of crude oil in the Kolmani River 2 well. The feat is expected to add to the National Crude Oil Reserve Base and revenue streams of the federal government. I congratulate the NNPC and all relevant stakeholders for what has been achieved thus far and I pledge my full commitment to this important national imperative on our journey to building a prosperous, strong and stable Nigeria. This occasion represents the commencement of drilling operations and the opening of new vistas for the oil industry and the nation at large. In 2019 also, 
The Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC successfully fast-tracked contracting cycle of upstream operations from 24 months to 9 months with a strong commitment to further reduce the process to less than 6 months in the months ahead. 2019 also saw the NNPC maintaining production levels well above 2 million barrels per day, increasing crude oil production by NNPC flagship upstream company Nigeria Petroleum Development Company NPDC. In 2019, there was a change in baton with the Group Managing Director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC Melikolo Kiari vowing to reverse the trend of petroleum products importation in the country by rehabilitating the existing refineries and encouraging private sector investment in the refineries subsector. The GMD made the pledge at a valedictory session for the former Group Managing Director Dr. Mekanti Baru where Kiari took over the reins of management as the 19th GMD of the corporation. Every Nigerian expects this company to be accountable, to be transparent, to be able to deliver petroleum products without difficulty. They expect us to create employment for our country. They expect us to deliver on gas. On transparency and accountability, Kiari noted that the presence of the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Mr. Ibrahim Magwa, the event was a pointer of how much NNPC had changed over the past three years. Also, 2019 saw President Mohamed Buhari appoint Chief Timi Pre Silva as the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. This was made known when the ministers of the Federal Republic were sworn into office at the Council Chamber of the State House in Abuja. Chief Silva, who is a former governor of Bielsa State, brings on the job several years of cognate experience in the petroleum sector. I know that we have a very uh, competent management already, especially in the, in the NMPC, uh, in the PTBF, uh, DPR and uh, the NCDMB. Also in 2019, the federal government revealed plans to deliver final investment decisions FIDs, on at least four key projects and reduce the cost of production through robust engagement with the international oil companies IOCs towards getting best value for all stakeholders. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipre Silva, who represented the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, disclosed this while speaking at the 24th World Energy Congress, WEC, in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. My plan is to ensure that FIDs are taken, at least four FIDs, major FIDs, during my tenure. In 2019 also, to expeditiously grow the federal government's revenue and in turn boost the nation's reserve base, the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC, Nigeria Ajib Oil Company, NAOC, and Owando executed a novation agreement for oil mining leases, OMLs 60, 61, 62, and 63. The group managing director of the NNPC, Milikiari, speaking on the significance of the innovation agreement at the NNPC towers in Abuja, said the agreement marked a significant milestone with the promise to bring about an amicable end to all litigations and arbitrations that have over the years inhibited the growth of those assets. This will open road for, for NPDC to perform its responsibilities under the JOA, which means uh, participating in all the uh, operational issues that the GOA has contemplated and also to become the effective uh, contributor of cash call and any other financial obligation that the GOA has uh, put in place. In the year under review, Nigeria's crude oil production was poised for an increased output of 35,000 barrels per day as a protracted dispute that soiled relations amongst Shell Petroleum Development Company SPDC, Belema Oil and Host Communities within the precinct of OML 25 in Kula Kingdom of Akokutoru local government area of River State has come to an amicable end. The rapprochement brokered by the Group Managing Director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC Melekiari, offering the promise to open the way for resumption of production activities on the field soon. Speaking at the end of the peace parley, symbolized with the signing of a dispute resolution agreement among the erstwhile feuding parties, the NNPC GMD described the event as vital in ensuring restoration of normalcy, especially 
in the communities whose normal way of life have been disrupted by the disputes in the last two years. The overall objective of the administration of President Muhammad Buhari to bring peace to all communities, to bring prosperity to all of us. And we're proud to say that uh, this is working. One of the focus of the Petroleum Ministry today is to ensure that there is zero loss in the industry. 2019 saw the midstream sector of the Nigeria oil and gas industry record some milestones for the growth and development of the country, with the country boasting of being the ninth largest gas reserves in the world, with an estimated proven and probable gas reserves of 201 trillion cubic feet TCF and an upside potential of about 600 TCF. The Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC grew domestic gas supply capacity to 1.7 billion standard cubic feet per day with the plans to increase capacity to 2 billion standard cubic feet per day at the completion of some short-term gas supply projects. Equally in 2019, the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC commenced the process of expanding the nation's liquefied petroleum gas LPG market through the selection of reputable companies to offtake natural gas liquids NGLs for domestic and international markets. In 2019, the Port Harcourt Refining Company, PHRC Limited, a subsidiary of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC, attained the International Organization for Standardization ISO 9001-2015 Quality Management System QMS certification, the first by any refinery on the African continent. Here on that review, the NNPC achieved the completion of Phase 1 of Port Harcourt Refinery Rehabilitation Exercise even as it aimed at commencing from January 2020 the full rehabilitation exercise of the PHRC. In 2019, the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC challenged shareholders of the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas NLNG to work very quickly towards expanding the production capacity of the company beyond Train 7 to take advantage of developments in the global LNG market. The signing ceremony of a $2.5 billion prepayment agreement between NNPC and NLNG for upstream gas development projects to supply gas to NLNG trains 1 to 6 was executed. We are looking beyond train 7. What else can we do? Uh, what other LNG projects can we put on the table? Uh, also on record that during the year, a critical step towards the realization of the Train 7 project of the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas NLNG was taken leading to the signing of a gas supply agreement between the company and major gas producers. It's a very historic moment for our country. Uh, delivering gas to Train 7 is of utmost significance to us. Also speaking at the event, country chairman of Shell Group of companies in Nigeria and Managing Director of Shell Petroleum Development Company, SPDC, Mr. Osage Okumbo, appreciated the NNPC GMD for his purposeful leadership, which saw the partners coming together to sign the gas supply agreement. When we sign agreements in the industry, it means we are ready to, to execute. Uh, so this is a very uh, big event. The downstream sector of the nation's oil and gas industry witnessed a flurry of activities in 2019 geared towards ensuring efficient supply and distribution of petroleum products to the end user. Among these, Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC boosted access of the Loring Choir State and its environs to petroleum product supply as the corporation's group managing director, Mele Kiari, recommissioned the ancient city's NNPC depot. We have delivered this depot, not without challenges. The transportation of fuel is easiest though through pipeline. Kwara State Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak, who witnessed the recommissioning of the depot, commended the NNPC for its foresight in restoring the operations of the facility, saying that the development will bring prosperity to the state. I thank the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation for considering the plea of the people and the business community to relaunch a depot after over five years of inactivity. 
following the completion of the 2019-2020 Direct Sales Direct Purchase DSDP Tender Exercise, 15 consortia companies made up of reputable and experienced international companies and Nigerian downstream companies emerged successful to undertake the 2019-2020 DSDP arrangement. That process comprised technical and commercial bid submission respectively, evaluation and shortlisting, then commercial negotiations with pre-qualified companies and engagement of the successful consortia companies by NNPC. During the year, Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC embarked on automating its downstream facilities such as depots, pump stations and measurement systems across the country. This forms the fulcrum of Operation White, made up of 89 officials drawn from five agencies to help monitor products supply and distribution across the country and check on wholesome practices with a view to authenticating the actual volume of products imported and consumed in the country. The Managing Director of the Petroleum Products Marketing Company PPMC, Mr. Balawunti, explained that the two initiatives will enhance efficiency in the delivery of petroleum products to ensure availability and affordability. We take on the responsibility. Not only we take on the responsibility, we take on the ownership and therefore place ourselves to be held accountable. Chief Silva, along with the NNPC GMD Milikiari, had earlier inaugurated the Operation White team at the NNPC TARS to achieve end-to-end -end tracking of petroleum products from landing point to the pump to stem cross-border smuggling and diversion. Every organization that I know is as strong as its leadership. And today I know that the NNPC is definitely under strong leadership. We are very proud of the team we have set up. Uh, the selection, as Bala has said, clearly very uh, discreet and completely conscious selection that we did. People of competence, people of integrity, people of loyalty to this country and our company. In the year under review, after years of painstaking research and meticulous planning, NNPC Retail Limited, the downstream subsidiary of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation in charge of retail sales and marketing of petroleum products, commenced a promising entry into the lubricant market with the unveiling of a broad range of high-performance engine oils to provide better options to customers across the country. For our lubricants, the next stage is that you to be the best lubricant available when you buy one liter, it will be one liter. Engineer Yemi Adetunji, Chief Operating Officer Downstream, whose unit superintends the operations of NNPC Retail Limited, expressed confidence that the entry of the company into the engine oil market will provide refreshing options to customers. Coming of lubricants will also be another feather in the heart of NNPC Retail. In his remarks, Sabili Okoye, Managing Director of NNPC Retail Limited, said though the products had been in the offing for such a long period, the wait was worthwhile because NNPC Retail Limited took advantage of the period to consolidate research on the lubricant. We have gotten off the cars and we have our dealers and we have ensured that by February when we are going to do the mega launch, this product will be available to all the nooks and crannies of Nigeria. In the year under review, the 19th edition of the NNPC National Science Quiz Competition came to an electrifying end in November in Abuja with the representative of Ogun State emerging the overall winner of the annual NNPC flagship Corporate Social Responsibility CSR Initiative. Master Samuel Oluwatobi Ojo, a student of Apt Scholars Universal College, Ota Ogun State, came up top in the competition in which 18 participants squared off. Chief Silva, in his remarks, commended NNPC for sustaining the competition through the last two decades. I thank the NNPC for this initiative and for bringing innovation to it year in, year out. Welcoming participants and guests to the amphitheater of the NNPC, Group Managing Director of the Corporation, Milikiari, said that NNPC will not only sustain the sponsorship of the annual national quiz contest, but will constantly seek innovative measures to improve the competition whose ultimate aim is to encourage students in the study of science, 
technology, engineering and mathematics STEM related subjects. NMPC as an enabler organization will continue to play a critical role in building our nation through investment in people and dedicated CSR initiatives to upscale Nigeria, Nigeria's intellectual uh, assets. Entrepreneur extraordinaire and president of Dangote Group, Alhaji Aliku Dangote, in his remark, noted that since its inception, the NNPC National Science Quiz Competition had groomed a set of next generation of scientists and young leaders of thoughts set to be at the vanguard of innovation and industrial growth. This event is very significant as it is pitched against the background of the importance of education to nation building. In 2019, the commitment to transparency and accountability by the NNPC management led by Mele Kiari has continued to attract commendation and support for the cooperation at an Algeria Extractive Industries and Transparency Initiative NATI expressed absolute faith in the ability of the Group Managing Director to turn around the fortunes of the Nigerian petroleum industry. Mr. Kiadi's leadership, the NNPC, has a very powerful commitment to transparency and accountability. It really does symbolize, I think, what you hope to achieve in the next few years under your leadership. And it very much, of course, aligns with what the EITI is about globally. For us, it's just um, a reinforcement of, of all we have known and of, of the relationship that we have, um, not just on the commitment that he made about considering joining uh, EITI as a supporting company, but also on, on commodity trading transparency, on contract transparency, on beneficial ownership transparency, on, um, on mainstreaming. Today, the core persuasion of the Kiari led management, which is anchored on transparency, accountability and performance excellence is delivering on its gains as Nigerians across the country celebrated the Yuletide without a single queue of fuel across the 774 local government areas of the country. Good evening and welcome to another enlightening edition of the feedback segments of the program. My name is Julia. Outer. We're glad to have you join us today. In this festive season, there's going to be a lot of cookings at homes, eateries and realization spots. This will lead to high demand for liquefied petroleum gas, otherwise known as cooking gas. Today's edition will bring to you safety measures to observe in order to avoid incidences of fire outbreak occasioned by the use of cooking gas. Don't own your gas cooker when you are going to pick up matches or lighter. It's not good. I made sure that the gas burner itself is far away from where the cylinder is, where it's safe. And use of mobile phones is very dangerous, so I tell them to avoid using phones. You have to be checking your pipe because it has happened to me. Sometimes the pipe will be roasted from the amount of the pipe. Sometimes a roast pipe, that's a place, something will puncture it. It will be leaking, you might not know. It's not leaking from the mouth, it's not leaking from this device, it's from the host. You need to be conscious of the kind of cylinder you got from the market. That's the truth. Any cylinder that is not being approved by standard organization, which is sun, that cylinder is not fit for gas to get inside. You don't carry your gas cooker and be shaking. It's very, very dangerous. It might explode. And number two, the use of phone is not encouraging, especially uh, while you are cooking. You don't get close to your gas cooker and be using your phone to call. If you live in a, an apartment, you keep your cylinder outside. There are even now regulators, special cooking gas regulators. If your hose gets caught, it automatically cuts off the gas from supplying. When you are in the kitchen, you don't, you don't use the phone. You, and when there's no light, you don't use the light of the phone because it could ring and you'll be tempted to pick it. So why don't you just keep your phone when you finish cooking, you use them. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. Safety first. And that's all we have for you today. Please stay with us for the rest of the program. Hello. Glad to have you join us on this segment of the program. I am Abigail Ojobo. Did you know that API gravity is an arbitrary measure established by the American Petroleum Institute 
to specify the weight of crude oil per unit volume? Did you know that associated gas refers to the gas produced in conjunction with normal or intended production of crude oil? Did you also know that natural gas containing relatively large amounts of sulfide or sulfide compounds, usually hydrogen sulfide, is known as sour gas? Gathering system is a term used for the pumping service that bring the flows of a number of producing wells together for subsequent pumping into a pipeline. Did you know that the valve manifold at the top of a high pressure producing well that controls the flow of one or more producing areas from a single well is called Christmas tree? I'm sure it has been informative. Within the school also, there is a bit a kind of uh, knowledge, a kind of competition which uh, they want to be picked as one of uh, those that uh, will go out and uh, participate in NMPC competition. So really NMPC has imparted a lot uh, in the life of uh, students, not only in GSS Guarimpa, but in the whole country. That's been this edition of Oil & Gas for a very special one. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and fuel filled. Enjoy the rest of the Yuletide. And let's do this again, same time, same station next time.